hello guys welcome back again to the channel so yeah today we are coming to talk about what has been going on in the house right from last night the custodian challenge that happened up until this moment where they just finished the um h o h so if you're seeing me for the very first time and you feel you love to catch up on the gist don't have the time to sit down and be watching the program and you just want to catch up on the gist happening on the reality tv show the Bibra niger reality tv show this is the right channel to be on because i am here to give you the gist as if the hot immediately it dropped anyway guys please subscribe to the channel turn on your bell notification if you're new or if you've been watching without subscribing and leave your comments in the comment section whatever discussion we discuss let us make it fun let's continue the discussion in the comment section like the video so that you help it get to other people like you who do not have time to actually watch the show you know consistently or would not have time to follow the show every second so today guys are we starting with the custodian challenge you know the, this custodian challenge seems to be like the only pair of people that will be immune from on sunday they actually played the game the game was not such a difficult game to play you understand people are called the housemates to the arena and there was something like a pool and there were bottles in the pool or something like that you just pick a bottle maybe they, they wore like a rain boot went into the pool like each representative of the pair you get wears a rain boot goes into the pool pick one bottle comes out you know check what is in the content of the bottle you go get there are papers in the bottle and then the one that has the word custodian on it are the pair that has gotten the, cust the custodian you get for the week and you guys surprisingly it was any of the indian um, pair that actually won the custodian challenge like you know when people when these girls they came in last night a lot of people started saying a lot of things ndine mama this ones they will not last this one is somebody's mother your need there were a lot of mem mem memes going on on social media about the both of them. Now, get out. Now you listen to me, you won't understand. Next time I see you here, I'm going to deal with you. How dare you call me that? How dare you? but you see good you see because one thing i know about social people um, people like that is sometimes the least expected person might even get to the finale so do not underrate anybody when it comes to big brother niger game because that person you are expecting that ah, this person will not last this person will not stay and that person will carry go rich final or that person might definitely win the game you get you know this thing has happened before moving on this morning while they were doing exercise or after the exercise you get the pair of chinwe and zaya the very first pair that came into the house they started having you know their couple conversation because the guy and the girl you get and the girl like felt like they've busted the cassier and kenny ray kind of a situation the double k pair you get those couple that actually came in and said they were going to introduce themselves to the housemate as best friend rather than wife and uh, Chima was telling Zion that she feels like their relationship is more than best friend situation that she feels like their relationship is more of a husband and a wife that they should put an eye on the <laughs> And it got me thinking, I'm wondering how this couple, they are going to maneuver their relationship for people not to bust them. Because to be really honest with you, when it comes to a relationship that has to do with a boyfriend and a girlfriend and a husband and a wife, there is always a very obvious difference, you understand? So I don't know how they'll be managing to keep that as a secret for long without people figuring out that this is more than a normal boyfriend and girlfriend situation. This is more than, a, this is like a marriage commitment kind of a relationship. So they've already been busted and we don't know how they'll be keeping up with the pretense or how they will try to change that narrative in the head of Chiwe and Zion and hopefully Chiwe doesn't go about telling her that housemate and people start putting an eye on them more than it is at the moment. So Wani, which is one of the twin girls and Sean who came in with Victoria as one of her pair mates you get, they are beginning to have a thing for each other. Wani has already been telling her twin sister that she has like she's been, been drawn to the Sean guy and all of a sudden they've started you know talking and then this afternoon while they were having like a conversation from nowhere um, Wani just asked uh, Sean that um, what's your blood group and Sean mistook it for what's your genotype and just said that he's AS and then the Wani girl was like oh I'm also AS anyway I was asking you of your uh, blood group this is fucking mosquitoes now are they biting me? Not biting, but I know they will fight. You know, my blood is fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They can see from my blood. What blood group? Um, yes. Yeah, yes. 
Thank you, Jones. Yes. What blood group or ID has for each other? So, blood group. I don't know, that'd be awesome. I can't remember. So, this alone, which the relationship they've already come to agreement that they like themselves, they would have loved to become an item. I just feel like it has already scattered from the beginning. But the manager was already making a statement or just shown how she was even dating a sickle cell uh, patient. You get, she said one of her boyfriends in, in back in time was a, was a sickle cell carrier and he even died of the ailment, you understand? But she did not care when she loves someone, she goes in deep. She does not care what it is, what the dangers are or whatever it is that no matter what they were advising her, she really, really loved the guy and she stood by him up until the end. In fact, she sounded like she was even ready to marry him based on the fact that she is an AS and the guy is an SS, which is obviously a one, 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 one red flag for people like that to get married, but she did not care. So this is, this was more like she trying to more talk to the guy, telling him that, well, whether you're AS or AS, I don't mind still going into a relationship with you, but I know that that information alone with the body language of Sean, you will know that he just knew, know, knows that this is a no-go area. I don't think that this relationship is going to move forward, you understand? And I don't know how they are going to carry their matter. I don't know how they, are, they will do that one again. But, but let's just keep on checking out how they are doing. And then we notice that the housemates have started, you know, forming alliances, forming cliques. People are getting to know themselves, trying to bust one clique or the other, trying to figure out what this person is up to, what that person is up, up to. It's not even up to 24 hours as it is right now. And then we moved on to the H -O HOH game. This game is just a very simple it's not like a game it's just like a ballot like you vote the housemates will have to vote who they want to be the head of house for the week it's not like a game where you play to challenge each other and whoever wins is the head of house so each housemate or each pair of housemates goes in to vote another pair you get for them to be able to know who they want to vote you get i'll be leaving the way they voted here for you guys to see it you understand you check out how each pair voted each pair and then they came to a tie after everybody has voted who they wanted after the 14 pairs had voted who which pair they actually wanted there were two pairs that had a tie which was the radicals and the Mbadiwe brothers which had two votes each so they had two two pairs voting for them each and they had like a tie and it was upon the custodian to actually decide who the a head of house will be and of course big brother gave the custodian that right and they went they deliberated and came to an agreement that they would want the imbadiwe brothers to be the head of house for this week congratulations you are the first head of house for the season of course kindly wear your armbands One funny thing about them being the head of house is the fact that Big Brother said that this yes, this season, there will be no immunity for head of house. You understand? All they have to do is that they might they, they might suggest punishment for Big Brother for any minor offenses. Of course, they have the liberty or they have the right to the head of house lounge and all that. And um, some other things, some other smaller things, you know, organizing the house. But the immunity, they do not have it. The housemates can also vote them for possible eviction or for those people who are going to stand so that is just a case of what has been going on if i say more gist i'll be bringing it to you guys thank you so very much for watching my videos i hope you enjoyed it i will most definitely see you all in my next video